Green Party MP New Zealand, Galris Garman resigns over shoplifting allegations. Following many accusations of stealing, a New Zealand MP announced their resignation. Green Party politician Galris Garman is charged with stealing from upscale stores at least three times. 2017 saw the lawmaker and human rights attorney, born in Iran, become the first refugee to serve in the island country's parliament. Since being elected, she was under particular pressure due to continuous threats of sexual violence, physical violence, and death threats, co-party leader, James Shaw, said. Ms. Garman blamed completely out-of-character behavior on job stress and mental health difficulties in a statement that did not address the particular charges. I am not trying to excuse my actions, but I do want to explain them. The mental health professional I see says my recent behavior is consistent with recent events giving rise to extreme stress response and relating to previously unrecognized trauma. People should, rightly, expect the highest standards of behavior from their elected representatives. I fell short. I'm sorry. It's not a behavior I can explain because it's not rational in any way, and, after medical evaluation, I understand I'm not well," Ms. Garman said. The lawmaker allegedly stole items from Creative Works in Wellington, the capital of New Zealand, and Scotty's Boutique in Ponsonby, Auckland. In a statement, the New Zealand police stated that they were looking into the reported incident that happened in December of last year at Scotty's Boutique, but they did not provide any further information. They did not certify that Ms. Garman was involved in the event. The MP who is leaving has expressed gratitude to Scotty's employees for their kindness and empathy. In a joint statement, Mr. Shaw and co-leader Marama Davidson supported Ms. Garman's decision to resign. Green MPs are expected to maintain high standards of public behavior. It is clear to us that Ms. Garman is in a state of extreme distress. She has taken responsibility and apologized. We support the decision she has made to resign, they said.